All right, guys, Ace here, and um, today I'm going to be doing something different for everybody. I'm actually going to be bringing you today with me in some of my game hunts, and I'm going to try and hit up, uh, I'd say, five different stores that I usually go to on the days that I'm on my days off from work. So uh, today, we're starting off with Savers, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, so here we are. We're going to Savers, and there seems to be a line just because for safety reasons and all that stuff so let's go ahead and go in there all right guys so i just finished kind of looking around from savers and i actually picked up a couple of things which we will be looking at in the game room as soon as I finish kind of game hunting and uh, at, as of this time um, we're gonna be jumping into Goodwill which is where I'm at right now so let's go ahead and check that out here's the Goodwill let's go check it out at the good, good, Goodwill So I just finished over here in the first Goodwill that we went to. Uh, as you guys saw from that video, they didn't really have a whole lot of games at this time. And I just found one title, which I'm going to show you guys in a little bit once we get back to the game room. And But right now, we're going to go ahead and jump into the Half Price Bookstores and see if they have any cool sales and possibly some games that I don't have in my collection. And it fits in a really really reasonable price so it's just right next to this goodwill over here so let's go ahead and jump into half price bookstore all right guys so here we are at the half price books records and magazines let's go check it out
All right, guys, so I just finished here at the Half Price Bookstores and um, didn't really see a whole lot here. Uh, some of the games that they have, I already have at my house. Although there's one game that was kind of popping out at me and it was still brand new. And uh, I think it's called Anarchy Reigns. It, it looks very interesting. I kind of, you know, I, I was almost tempted to pick it up, but um, there's enough copies in there and I'm pretty sure I can come back for it whenever, but I didn't see a whole lot that really is uh something that i want to add to the collection i did however buy well you'll see i'll show you guys the two things that i picked up from half price bookstores all right so let's go ahead and go to um that other good you know what we'll go to that goodwill in a little bit let's go ahead and check out what walmart has because uh it's been a while since i've been at walmart and i'm pretty sure they had some pretty cool um clearance stuff so let's go ahead and check that out over there Hey guys, here we are at Walmart. Let's go through the home and pharmacy. Alright guys, so I just finished Walmart and I am leaving the store without getting anything. Um, there wasn't really a whole lot as you guys saw in some of their shelves. It was like completely empty. And there was one particular game that I really wanted to pick up today and I was hoping they would have it but... Oh well, uh, they only had the single copy. I wanted to get the complete copy. So anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the Goodwill. And after that, we're going to go ahead and jump into another Goodwill and I think we will call it a day 
and we'll check out what we've gotten in this um, brand new game hunting pick uh, video that I'm preparing for you guys. So let's go ahead and drive over there. All right, guys, so this is the other Goodwill that I was talking to you about, and uh, we'll go ahead inside and check out if they have any games that I might like or probably been looking for. All right, guys, so I didn't really spend a whole lot of time at this Goodwill. Um, it was almost super disgusting. I mean, not disgusting in a way that it's filthy. It's just disgusting because it, it was a whole bunch of movies, tons of good movies, by the way, but there were two games out of the entire um, rack that they have there. And those two games had nothing in them. And they were very good games too. And uh, I'm surprised they don't just put that in like a case or something. It's, I don't know, people just take the CDs and leave the cases and it's, you know, it's really disheartening. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the other Goodwill. And uh, hopefully this one we find something cool. If not, we're just gonna go ahead and go back to the game room and check out all the stuff that we picked up from the stores that we stopped by today. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, round three. Oh man, guys, that was a total disappointment. I wanted to really find something over here. There was really nothing. And yeah, you know what? We're gonna call it a day and we are gonna check out all the stuff that we picked up anyway. From the other stores that we've been to so uh, let's go ahead and head back to the game room now we're back into the house and we're in the game room i had to run to the washroom just because i was out in the wilds for the past three hours you know i just had to get myself nice and hygienic so i took a quick shower before um, i go over and show you the things that i got from savers the one thing that i picked up from goodwill and also the two things that i bought from half price bookstore so let's go ahead and do the half price bookstore first or you know what let's do the goodwill first just because it's just one thing so as you guys saw from the video there wasn't really a whole lot of uh, games i mean there was enough games for me to look at but not a lot that was really appealing to me except for one and i've always been a big fan of uh, tennis games and my family definitely uh I grew up on a tennis playing family. I also played tennis back in high school. I mean, other sports as well, football, basketball, but uh, we are really big fans of tennis in my family. So I picked up this one. It's a good title, Virtua Tennis 2009. And um, it just, it does feature um, Maria Sharapova. You've got your um, Rafael Nadal and your Roger Federer. If you guys are familiar with tennis players, these guys, were the major uh, pros that pretty much took over the whole um, pro scene when you know Andre Agassi, um, the past legends retired Pete Sampras and all of them. All right, so the two items that I picked up from Half Price Bookstores is um, a Nintendo DS starter kit pretty much. Um, when I got my Nintendo, 3DS, I didn't really get a chance to pick one of these up. Unfortunately, um, they were selling this for $9.99. It was missing the um, headphones for that goes with the entire kit, but you know what? I'm actually glad that that's not there because I would hate to put somebody else's headphones in my ears, especially I don't know if it was used or not. So that's a good, good move. Um, this does come with a standard Nintendo 3DS case. Uh, game case some stylus it comes with three and also a charger there you go i think that's for the car if you're you're in the car you can use that charger and um yeah i think it comes with some screen protector oh wow okay so it comes with some screen protectors it's right there in the back if you guys can see through um the back of the stylus right there it does say screen protectors included so that's pretty cool i got that for nine dollars and 99 cents and the other item that i bought from half price bookstores and you probably saw me kind of check this out during the video and that is the um, big um, big book of uh, zelda and this is the um, i think it's called the unofficial guide unofficial guide to breath of the wild and the Legend of Zelda games. There's a lot of fun stuff that is written in here and I can't 
you know, I couldn't pass it up. It was being sold for for that price, $6.99, and I couldn't just pass that opportunity up and uh, you know, this was the only one there, so I might as well pick it up and it does have a lot of good things in there especially if you're a zelda fan there must be it explains what the legend of zelda is so and uh yeah what makes a zelda game that's actually pretty cool and uh it's in a pretty good condition uh six dollars 99 i can't cry about it it's going to be part of my zelda collection as some of you guys know i do collect the zelda stuff and uh for sure this will be part of it all right guys so now we're jumping into the games that i picked up from savers now some of these games were 50 percent off not some all of them were 50 percent off since it's a monday and being a monday everything that you purchase in store is automatically deducted 50 percent off so uh, don't worry about the price i didn't pay full price for them but i will show you how much they are so um just to show you guys how much they are at regular price so this one i got dynasty warrior 6 i don't have this in my xbox 360 collection and uh, it does come in with a manual in the game so that's complete got that for 4.99 so 50 percent of of that i also got pac-man world 2 for the PlayStation 2 the greatest hits it looks very interesting it looks like a very very fun game and uh, it does come complete with the manual and the game as well and I think this is going for six dollars and 99 cents I actually want to play this it looks very very fun then next up I also bought Kim Possible what's the switch <laughs> Kind kind of like a Nintendo Switch. Um, I don't know, <laughs> some kind of Nintendo Switch hook. Uh, there you go. And I think this is also complete with the manual and the game. And I got that for four ninety nine as well slash fifty percent off. And I also got this Angry Birds Star Wars for the Nintendo three DS. And. It only has its inserts and the game. Oh, I think there's some codes in there, so I didn't want to show you guys. But it uh, doesn't matter. There you go. And we got that for three, $3 or two ninety nine. Go, yep. 50% off. And the other loose three cartridges that I got, which is this Fast and the Furious Showdown for the Nintendo 3DS. And this was going for $9.99 slash the 50% off. So not too bad of a deal. We've got WarioWare uh, Incorporated for the Game Boy Advance. And I think this one was going for $15.99. And finally, we've got the Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. I actually don't have this for my Nintendo Advanced. Um, so I'm glad that I was able to find this and this thing is going for $16.99 and that is a loose cartridge so there you have it guys those are the games and accessories that I picked up from the stores that I visited for this video and guys this is the first time I've done this type of video it's almost like a live uh, game hunting almost but it really isn't and I just wanted to show you the things that I do and the places that I visit for my games pickup video and this is how I accumulate them for the 25th of each month so yeah um, I hope you guys like it and if you're a big fan of these kinds of videos make sure you hit that like button and if this is your first time in the channel make sure you subscribe as well guys it helps build the channel up and also bring it out to the horizon wherever we want to go as far as we can and uh, yeah guys thank you thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you next time later